Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm just out and about enjoying a beautiful day again, doing some adventures. I thought I'd take you with me and make another Kylie Rodney video. And this one might be the most important one you've ever seen. We're gonna cover some big stuff today and I'm gonna show you some stuff today that you never get to see. I'm gonna take you inside the back room and let you see who these people really are and I'm gonna give you some harsh realities about YouTube and what's really going on and why you still haven't gotten the truth in the Kylie Rodney case, but you can see that I am getting you closer. So first I just wanted to show you where I am. I'm just checking out these cool little shops. They got these, uh, here I'll just turn the camera around. They got these little boxes. They're like, uh, they're like storage containers that they painted up. They've had artists come and do some really awesome artwork on this stuff. And uh, there's like a whole row of them. And the, it's like, I'll just go to the front. They're like little stores. They're like, check it out. They're closed right now. N nothing's open right now. But they're all just these cool little shops. And I was down here once before when they were all open. And they got all kinds of cool stuff. Gifts and artwork and like, check out this artwork. There's like some welding artwork done here. Check this out. It's really cool stuff. More of it down there. Um, there's some really cool little tables where you can like play checkers and chess and stuff like that. Really, really nice. But hey, let's just find a spot where we can sit down for a minute and have a nice conversation. And uh, ooh, this is a cool looking table. Maybe we'll use this one. This looks just right. Okay, so apparently Clout Chaser Chris from Harsh Reality has now teamed up with Ryan Upchurch again to try to make him the biggest investigator. You see how the narcissists start teaming up again? I'll tell you why that is. It's because they're really weak on their own. They're super weak on their own. Ryan Upchurch knows I'm kicking his ass in this thing, this little war we're having. And so now he's reaching out for help because he can't do it on his own. He needs Chris from Harsh Reality. And I'm gonna give you some harsh realities about both of them right now. First of all, let's take a quick look at Ryan Upchurch, the guy that Chris from Harsh Reality wants you to believe is the smartest guy and is gonna get you the truth on the Kylie Rodney case. Let's just take a quick look at Ryan Upchurch, just for one second. <laughs> look at this guy. Is a little different than the other racist. What are you dipping on over there, buddy? Uh -huh. Does Upchurch the Redneck really give a fuck since you only have 37 subscribers? <laughs> Does he, do, do they think it's funny when, when someone gets, um, gets inside their, um, to get the thing that makes, um, Hey, what's up, Blibbly Free? What? That's what he said his name was. Let me open my mouth and show you what's inside there because my YouTube channel sucks ass and I don't know what to make a YouTube video about. <laughs> I mean, you can call me stupid all you want to. People can watch your videos and see that you're high as fuck. Anybody that's been around dope for a little bit can look at you and tell that you're on dope. And this is a rant, dude. I'm just, I'm at work. I'm tired of fucking getting all the texts. And the text to me, I can handle because it's just weak minded punks that think they know something that they don't know. You come out of that courthouse waving that blank piece of fucking paper. Boys, you're at a courthouse that you don't even go to for something like that. Saying if the buck and bobcat back ain't back in two hours, somebody's going to jail. And I know where it's at. You know how fucking childish you look doing that fucking shit? You look like a fucking crazy idiot kid. It's what you look like. And I have to go around town everywhere I go. And let me tell you something about going around town. I've been all over fucking town for the last fucking month. I go places that I normally don't go, just hoping I could bump into my son 
and figure out what the is going on in his head because he won't answer the goddamn phone. He won't answer a text. Apparently somebody's putting shit in his head and he fucking believes it. I go everywhere in town. You know what I hear everywhere I go? Tractor supply that you go to all the time. I've been there a hundred times in the last month. Just hoping I bump into you. You know what I hear from everybody around town? Everybody. It's, oh my God, your son, what is going on with him? Has he lost his mind? Ronnie, he needs help. He's on dope. I mean, he's went crazy on the internet. Look at your numbers. Look at your fucking numbers. Look at them. Psycho Bible was a fan of yours. Now, I don't know all these people. I just start looking at the comments you're getting. And a lot of people have just turned on you. And I mean, when you get on there and call your mama a bitch and a whore, I've done that a bunch. Me and her hate each other. And I've called her every name in the book. I remember the first time you called her a bitch when you was about 15 years old. What did I tell you? And back then, hell, all I wanted was her to die. To die. You called your mama a bitch, and I told you you don't ever do that. You don't ever talk bad about your parents. They brought you into the world. They can take you out of it. That's the way I see it. And, you know, to see you get on there, no matter what she might have did or didn't do, and for the record, I have no idea what she's done. I can go online like an intelligent person, and this is what I can see. I can see that she legally owns every f***ing house that you have. She owns Blue Moon Entertainment solely in her name. Everything has been bought through her name. And from what I understand, talking to some very powerful lawyers and one judge out here in Brentwood, is when you put your money that apparently you're trying to hide from somebody into somebody else's account, it legally becomes their money. You can dump truckloads off there every day. Once it's in there, it's theirs. They only have to give it back if they want to. And I'm going to tell you something. If you drug me through the mud like you've drug your mother, if I had legal rights to keep that shit, I would keep it from your ass until you fucking got your head out of your fucking ass. Because you definitely got your head up in your ass, Johnny Cash, or Elvis, whichever one I'm talking to. I know you're going to see this video, and you're going to come back with some crazy ass rant. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to tell you, buddy. I love you till the day I die. You're my son. Remember, you started this shit. You went on Facebook and you try to make everybody look like a fucking idiot. At a girl's house who's already afraid to live where she's living because of the break-ins they've had. I won't say any names because I'm sure this type of people don't want their name on the internet. But you went to one house and you said... This is very interesting. Um, the cops came, went to the door... You know, ask him some questions. Guess who's the only person that I know that this person knows at this house? Ronnie Upchurch. Wow. Wow. This is going to be so great. It's going to be a Netflix movie. My dad knew these people somewhere along the lines. Oh, my God. My dad's involved in this. My mom tried to sell this house. Well, you know, we own a real estate business, so we have access to stuff that the normal person don't. I looked at everything, the contracts on that house. One person owned that house for years and years and years. They sold the house to this young lady who I used to work for her dad. He's one of the biggest builders in Springfield. And her and her husband lived there with her kids. You show up in the middle of the day. With Hillbilly. 
This is another house we just found that was uh, in my name apparently and switched to someone else's name. And you act like you own this house or you think you do. I don't know where you got your information. You never owned the house. Patty never bought it or sold it. Patty Kennedy did. The oldest real estate agent in Ashland City. She bought and sold it. And the Doris family bought it. And I worked for her dad for about 20 years. Great Christian people. And you show up beating on the door, acting like you're going to evict somebody from their home. They don't know who you are. She never met you. And the only person that they know with your name is me. It's because I worked for her dad for 20 years. I just wonder what drugs were you on that day? Because you apparently were not thinking clearly. And you can backtrack and say, oh, well, we was just checking. Well, the f***ing videos say something else. I mean, you're accusing people of shit that had absolutely f***ing nothing to do with that poor girl's house. The guy that showed up was her dad. She called him first. He went straight there. They didn't know who the fuck he was. He contacted Cheatham County Police. His dad, or his grandfather, was a sheriff of Springfield for 20, 30 years. They know people. And some of the stuff that was said by law enforcement in Cheatham County about you that day would blow your fucking mind away. You think everybody's your friend? Let me tell you something. 90% of the fucking people in Cheatham County right now think you've lost your fucking mind. And I'm absolutely on the same page. Okay, now that you've seen that, do you honestly believe that that drug addict is going to get you anywhere near the truth in the Kylie Rodney case? Do you really think that harsh reality is supporting this guy because he truly believes that he's smart and he's going to get you the truth in the Kylie Rodney case? No. They're both clout chasers. Chris is a bigger clout chaser than Ryan, I think. And let's not forget, he was the first one to abandon all of you in the Kylie Rodney case and go do that Idaho 4 stuff because that's what was profitable. Let me remind people what a slime ball this guy is. Over a year and a half ago when this whole case started and I was getting the most views and the most subscribers on the Kylie Rodney thing, everybody was coming to my channel. That's one of the reasons they hated me. But uh, Chris there, uh, narcissist clout chaser Chris from Harsh Reality, just calls himself Harsh now, which is probably more accurate because nothing he says is reality. Um, he said for weeks, over a month, he said every day, we're going to donate to Jeff's investigation. We're going to support him. He said that to you guys, his fans and followers, every day. And he said, go tell Jeff in his comments that we're going to donate. We're going to support. And everybody was coming to me on my channel and going, Chris is rich. Harsh Reality Guy's rich. He's going to help you. You guys are going to have money to do this. Okay, all of you donated a dollar, five dollars, a couple dollars, and we got up to like three grand. And we used that to get background checks and a bunch of other stuff. But, harsh reality, Chris didn't donate one dollar, ever. He just kept telling you all that he was going to, and telling you all to come to Jeff's channel and talk in the comments about harsh reality this, harsh reality that, so he could steal my subscribers. And it was working for him and he didn't have to spend a dime to do it. And he never supported anything. He's just a big mouth lying sack of shit, just like Ryan Upchurch. And that's why he abandoned all of you when it wasn't profitable anymore. And that's why his channel grew bigger than mine because I chose to stick to my guns and do what I do. And I've never cared about that number box that says how many people are attached to my channel. I already proved to you guys, subscribers mean nothing. And that's why Ryan Upchurch is panicking and reaching out for help. Because 3.4 million of his 3.5 million subscribers do not watch his videos. And I proved that. I also proved that I get sometimes five times as many views as I do subscribe as I have subscribers. So, you know, whether you're talking about Harsh Reality or Ryan Upchurch, the drug addict, 
their numbers don't mean anything, okay? And now you're starting to see what a backstabbing narcissist Ryan Upchurch is. I showed you guys the screenshot of him taunting me on my channel saying, oh, you can't beat me up and stuff, but he's such a chicken shit, he won't answer my call out on his channel. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm gonna knock him out cold. I'm not afraid of Upchurch. He has no idea how hard I used to work on my martial arts skills. I'm totally glad to knock him out and put it on YouTube and ruin his entire career. And I'm not worried about it at all. He's the one that's worried and he's the one that's scared of me. He's literally so scared of me that he won't even answer you folks on his channel when I ask Ryan Upchurch, are you gonna fight me? Are we gonna meet up? Because I'm gonna knock Ryan Upchurch out for Kylie's friends and family. And Harsh Reality can go ahead and report on it if he wants to, because the video is gonna be on YouTube, okay? Ryan Upchurch is nothing but a big chicken shit who has no substance. You see, people look up to him like he's a star because he's got a lot of money and he's got a lot of subscribers. They look up to him like he's a music star, like he's a big person. You see, I don't see him that way. I see him as a very small, very small little man who has no substance and nothing to offer anyone at all. He's just a really mouthy asshole. He doesn't have any skills that I have. He can't play any instruments. He's not a real musician. And when I said that, a lot of people were like, I didn't know Upchurch couldn't play guitar. I didn't know he couldn't play guitar either because he poses with guitars in his fake plastic world. He has his friends write and record and perform his songs for him. He doesn't write anything. So when I look at Ryan Upchurch, his money doesn't mean to me. His subscriber numbers mean nothing to me. I know that he doesn't get most of his subscribers to even watch his own crap, okay? Numbers on YouTube mean nothing. I'm gonna show you what I put up with every single day from Ryan Upchurch and Harsh Reality and these idiots that brainwash stupid people to say horrible, stupid things. You guys wonder why I'm so harsh on certain people and I say horrible things about them. You don't realize that they've been doing it to me for a very long time behind the scenes and they're just too much of a chicken to do it in public. But I do it in public. I let everybody know what's going on and I stay transparent. And that's what makes me who I am and I don't care about the numbers. Okay, so their numbers mean nothing to me and they never will. What you have going on right now with Harsh Reality and Ryan Upchurch is the class clown, Ryan Upchurch, is really good at getting attention. That's how he gets famous, that's how he gets rich, that's how he gets people to buy his merch. He's the class clown. He has no substance. He's a weak little man with nothing to offer but class clown stuff, like he's 12. And then you have Harsh Reality, he's a clown too. But you see, when one clown isn't getting the reaction they're expecting, they team up together. And that's what narcissists do. And that's exactly why Squirrel Girl needed to team up with 20 channels to try to take me down. And all of them failed. In fact, most of them have dried up and disappeared because they couldn't stay in it. They couldn't handle the truth and they couldn't handle reality. So they gave up. Those of you that are watching me for the first time, you don't understand what I'm doing and you're not gonna understand what I'm doing until you watch some of my videos. If you wanna judge me, go right ahead, that's fine. But I would urge you to do it with some knowledge in your head and, you know, the facts. So please go to my homepage and watch the playlist, a couple videos there called Kylie Rodney Truth Bombs. And under that, there's a few more videos in a playlist called Top Kylie Rodney Videos You Must See. Watch those couple videos. Take a little bit of time out of your day. Hey, if you want the real deal on the Kylie Rodney case, you need to take the time to watch some stuff. Stuff that I've already done. Stuff I've already worked on. Stuff I'm already in the motion of completing. Okay, so go get your information first and then judge me and then judge Ryan Upchurch and judge Chris from Harsh Reality, okay?
go ahead, make your choice, make an educated choice by going to my homepage and watching those videos first. Do that before you develop your opinion about me and who is gonna get you across the finish line in this battle for truth. Some of you that are my diehard fans scratch your heads and wonder, why is Jeff so nice most of the time, but sometimes he just puts everything down and goes full throttle on somebody and is even just a little bit arrogant and mean toward them. I have to use certain tactics in psychological war that you might not understand. Maybe you're starting to see it now that you've seen some of the slime balls that attack me every day. And you'll understand why I have to speak harshly against certain people. And now you can see what kind of people follow them. Let me ask you guys this, my subscribers. Have any one of you gone to Ryan Upchurch's channel or, or Harsh Realities and started typing, you need a shower, you look gross and creepy. Have any of you done that? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say zero of my subscribers have done that to either of them. Why do I know that? Because you're the intelligent crowd and you don't talk like you're 12 and you can see and think with your minds clear enough to see the bullshit. So most of you that come to my channel and stick around know that I'm not stupid. I might have to play games with people and play stupid sometimes, but that's part of the game, okay? And when people are saying, oh, you're taking sides, you're backing up this person, you're protecting somebody, you're siding with the corrupt police, no. No, I'm not siding with anybody and I want you to stop siding with anybody. I want you to do what I'm doing and that's become 100% neutral. Nobody's being accused of anything. Innocent until proven guilty. Would you agree? Okay, we agree. Innocent until proven guilty. The facts are gonna spell out the story for us. The evidence and the facts only. And everything else is made up by people like Ryan Upchurch and Chris from Harsh Reality. Notice they're pushing the conspiracies and the spin away from truth again. Do you want them to do it to you guys for another year and a half for profits while they get you further and further away from the truth, either on purpose or just because they don't give a shit if you get the truth or not. They don't care because they don't know what it is. They don't know what they're talking about. So they're so clueless that they would rather just keep saying whatever as long as it gets your attention because they want your attention. They want to make sure you're watching them and them only. And when they realize that I make them look stupid with facts and evidence, they want you to stop watching me. And that's why they're ganging up again, just like Squirrel Girl did. But remember what happened to Squirrel Girl? Remember, she was on Facebook saying, I'm never gonna quit until Jeff's off YouTube. And she had 20 channels against me. They were ganging up like Ryan's doing now. Same, same predictable maneuvers. Why? Because they're so weak on their own, they can't get the job done. And I promise you, no matter how many they gang up with, they're all just gonna end their own careers. You see, Ryan Upchurch fell into my trap. Now he's looking like an idiot again, talking about me without saying my name. These are all things I predicted he would do, and you can go see it on my community page. In fact, I urge you to go to my community page because I got a lot of cool stuff there that you get to see reality, tr learn truth. I even have a poll going right now for a little bit of fun with Ryan Upchurch. It's how many lines of cocaine did Ryan Upchurch snort before he did his original Kylie Doesn't Exist video. And there's four, four options there. It looks like the public have spoken. I thought it was gonna be three lines of cocaine, but apparently everybody is pretty sure it's four lines of cocaine that Ryan Upchurch did. So here's a screenshot of that, just so you can see it. But I got, that's just for fun. That's just for fun. Because I have to have fun too. And I have to play with these idiots because when I play with them and say things to them that they don't like, it makes them snap like alligators. Just like Ryan Upchurch did. He just lost his mind. Look at the guy. He's losing his mind over me. He's on my channel every day typing away about, you know, how he's the greatest. 
He's a full-blown narcissist. I predicted all his moves. All my OG subscribers are laughing because they know this is true because they've been on my community page watching me predict what Ryan Upchurch was going to do all week long. You see, I played him. He fell into my trap. He's a really stupid, gullible person. And that's why Jared, Lysak, and Doug Bishop were able to play him like a fiddle because he's really gullible and he really has no clue what he's talking about and he's really good at talking out his ass and getting people's attention so they used him to get people excited about the case and it worked and now him Ryan Upchurch and Chris the narcissistic clout chaser are trying to team up together to re-establish that excitement but they're gonna do it toward the conspiracy nonsense and take you further and further away from the truth just like they've been doing for the last couple days and if you saw Ryan's video you know what he's doing you know what he's doing but I'll save you the trouble of watching a trashy Ryan Upchurch video I don't even need to see the video to know what he's saying about me. I can just go look at their stupid troll comments and I see the patterns. Like every one of them was calling me creepy or a creeper. So obviously I don't even need to watch dumbass Ryan Upchurch's video to know that he called me some sort of a creepy person. See, I don't need to watch their garbage to know what they're saying. They're predictable. They're pathetic. They're very small people. Money, subscribers, means nothing. Ryan Upchurch is a very small man to me, okay? Everybody looks up to him as some sort of celebrity, but to me, he's not a celebrity. He's just a really dumb guy that has a big mouth. So Ryan fell into my trap, and now Ryan is stuck. You see, Ryan's made it public now, and Ryan has, without saying my name in the title, as I predicted, I said he's gonna make a video about me and he won't put my name in the title because he's too chicken to say my name. He does not have the balls to say my name. He's afraid of me. And I'll tell you this too. Remember when uh, Redneck Nation had said something behind his back about getting him with bots or whatever? And he was posting that on his own channel and everybody else was. And he was crying like, baby, wait, wait, look at what they said about me. Gaga, goo goo. Remember when Ryan Upchurch was crying like that, like a baby? Well, have you guys noticed that I've said way worse things than that? And I've said flat out that I'm gonna end Ryan Upchurch's career and knock him out and put the video on YouTube. Why isn't he crying like a baby right now on his channel, trying to get sympathy from all of you? You know why? Because he's actually afraid of me. And he knows if he says anything about the fight, it's locked in. You see, I put him in a position now where Ryan Upchurch just screwed himself. Now he's been publicly talking about me. I showed you guys the screenshots of him talking big on my channel. He thinks he's, you know, Mr. Tough Guy when he comes and says something on my video, but he won't say it on his channel because he's a chicken shit and he's afraid of me. You see, now he's in a position where everybody's gonna call him out. He is a chicken shit. He is afraid of me. He is stupid. He is a gullible drug addict. I just played him like a fiddle all week long, and now I'm saying it again. I'm gonna knock Ryan Upchurch out cold for Kylie's family and her friends. And now Ryan Upchurch has to answer to all of you, everybody, including his own friends that thinks he's a pussy right now. Ryan Upchurch, are you gonna fight you back to Jeff? Are you going to say it on your channel and make it official? Lock it in, buddy. Lock it in. I'm ready to go. Are you? You look mighty out of shape, buddy. In fact, somebody told me the other day that Ryan Upchurch is younger than me. I was like, really? He look, I thought he was like a couple years older than me. Because I guess it's the drugs and, you know, drugs do that to people. They make people look older faster. He's aging really badly. So I thought he was older than me by a couple years. But whatever, I don't really care. I'm gonna knock him out cold. I'm not afraid to say it, I'm not afraid to do it. And I will put the video on YouTube and it will end his career. He will be laughed at, it will go viral. It will end his career. He knows it and he knows that there's a really good chance I am gonna knock him out cold and he's afraid of me, and he's afraid to say my name and lock it in on his channel and say, I'm gonna fight you back to Jeff, because then it's locked in and he's obligated. And then I get to knock him out and put it on YouTube and end his entire career. 
So now even his friends are starting to wonder, hey, Upchurch, are you really that much of a coward? Are you really afraid of this guy? Because he won't say it. And if he does, it's because he's put in the position that I put him in. He has no options left. He has to look like a chicken shit and walk away and go back to lying to everybody about the Kylie Rodney case for views and making stuff up. Maybe Morgan Wallace this week, whatever he's talking about. Same with harsh reality. He'll go back to the Idaho four or whatever's more profitable. This week, it's profitable to fight with me on Ryan Upchurch's team. That's why Chris is getting involved. Did you see his stupid uh, thumbnail? Man, real creative there. A picture of Ryan Upchurch when he's like 19 with an old picture of Kylie that we've all looked at a million times. Real crafty there, Chris. You know, these guys are so thin. You see how thin they are? You see, Ryan Upchurch's best attempt to get me, he got 11 people to unsubscribe from my channel, 11. That's kind of like throwing a lawn chair off the Titanic. And I gain 20 subscribers a day even when I'm not uploading videos. So, wow, I was down a few subscribers for an hour. Oh no, what will I do without those 10 or 12 Ryan Upchurch fans? Did you see how many people said, oh, you're creepy, blah, 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 because Ryan told them to? Like 12. When I saw he had made a video about me last night, I was like, all right, when I wake up in the morning, there's probably going to be a couple thousand comments for me to ban. And by the way, none of their comments are ever seen by you guys, even when I'm sleeping, because all my videos are set to approved comments only. So these dumb trolls that follow Harsh Reality and Ryan Upchurch, they think when they're typing away on my videos that people are reading it and going, oh, this guy is creepy and needs to take a shower because this nobody with zero subscribers said so. But the thing is, is their comments just disappear if they've been banned already. And if they haven't been banned yet, their comments still don't show up because I have to go approve them first. And then I just look at the list and go, ban, 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 ban. And their comments were never seen by you guys. And that's why you guys never see the fights. You never see the bull crap. You never see what sick, twisted, narcissistic, selfish pricks these people are and how they attack me constantly. And I try to keep my game face on, but sometimes I gotta put what I'm doing down and knock them out of business. Like I did to Squirrel Girl like I did to all her friends, like I did to Kevin Slees. And now, unfortunately, I have to do it to Ryan Upchurch because I have to wonder if he's running paid counterintelligence because he has tried to once again steer all of you away from truth while defeating me. And he cannot defeat me. And I keep proving that to all of you and to him. So now that I've proven what I say, and now that you guys have taken the time to go watch those videos I said on my homepage, now you can decide who you trust to get you across the finish line and get you truth in the Kylie Rodney case. You know, I gotta give it to them. They're both really good actors. They're both really good at convincing the public that they're wholesome, good people out there doing good things. And they have big hearts and they care about you and everybody else. They're the biggest lying sacks of sh I've ever run across and I hope you guys are starting to see that now I think you are I, that's why I keep saying I provide opportunities to these other channels viewers because they're not all dumb they're not all gullible some of them just don't know I exist that there's a real investigation going on or that they're watching garbage because it's so easy to be tricked on YouTube by these fraudsters like Ryan Upchurch and harsh reality these clout chasing pricks you know, Kylie's family and Jagger and some of those guys were right when they were calling out AWP and Upchurch and calling them clout chasing pricks and stuff. They're right. They're totally right. And I'll say this again. I hope Kylie's family sues Ryan Upchurch for every penny he has, including the three bucks a month he takes from me, that petty backstabbing piece of crap. Okay? If you don't know why Ryan Upchurch gets $3 a month from me or what shitty things he did to me, go watch my videos. I put it all in there. You can find out what a slime ball Ryan Upchurch is just by watching my videos and getting the truth. I never sugarcoat anything. I never hide anything from anybody. I'm always completely transparent with you guys. Always. 
And that's why I say their names and the titles. I'm not afraid to say Ryan Upchurch is a lying sack of shit, drug addict, narcissist, backstabber, because that's totally what he is. A lot of people know that and have dealt with this asshole themselves. I was looking around YouTube, I found five other musicians that are having a beef with Ryan Upchurch. And same thing there. They got attacked by Ryan Upchurch, the psycho narcissist backstabber. Then Ryan Upchurch walks away and pretends he didn't do anything and he's the innocent one. And he goes on his channel and cries like a little baby looking for sympathy. Oh, poor me. Somebody said something mean about me. And then the other person who's not his big celebrity gets left holding the bag. And they're like, uh, why are all these people on me to, 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 to squash the beef with Upchurch? He started it. This guy was like, we just need to have more love, man. We just need to all get along, man. And I felt so bad for this dude. It's like, this guy has no idea that Upchurch is out here doing this to everybody because he's a psycho and he's a backstabber and he uses these methods to get fame and money. Just like Chris from Harsh Reality. They're all just stupid clout chasers. So do me a favor, guys. Judge me on my work. Go watch those videos on those two playlists on my homepage. Please take a few hours to watch my hard work and how close I'm getting you to the truth. And then decide for yourselves if you want to subscribe to my channel and follow me, or if you want to go on the crazy train down to crazy town for another year with Ryan Upchurch and his narcissistic counterintelligence buddies. And when I say counterintelligence, that could mean paid counterintelligence, or it could just mean that they're trying to make you less intelligent. They are counterintelligence themselves, okay? So by making people stupid, gullible, and tricked out with this ooh, ah stuff, conspiracy this, conspiracy that, and hey, conspiracy is a real crime. And if you guys want me to get to the real crime of conspiracy, then we need to get rid of the bullshit conspiracy theories. What I like to call made up stories, because conspiracy theory is a term coined by the CIA during the Kennedy assassinations to turn uh, newspaper teams away from the truth and pin anybody that was pointing out the person on the grassy knoll as a crazy person. And that phrase is still used today and it still works today and they still use it in mainstream media today so I don't like that phrase and if you don't believe me go google it it's true all right so don't use the phrase conspiracy theory made up fictitious stories is much more accurate and it, it spells out what they really are just made up fictitious stories from people like Ryan Upchurch and harsh reality see harsh reality guy Chris there he's really good at going here's an email from somebody and he read an email once, it was like, we're aware of it. We're aware of it. <gasps> Make a whole video about that, Chris. You see what he does? He just makes something tiny into something big and he never donates, he never supports anybody. He certainly never supported us. He just told everybody he would so he could steal my subscribers because he's a clout chaser. So now look at Chris there with Harsh Reality. He's got like way more subscribers than me. Why? Because he talks about things that are trending and profitable only and he doesn't stick to his guns and he just makes stuff up and most people just become disinterested and they watch only for entertainment. They don't really think this guy's ever gonna crack a case or get you the truth on anything. They just wanna see little tidbits of, ooh, sparkly stuff, glitter, fluff. If you wanna get to the real truth, you're gonna have to subscribe to my channel and check out my videos. And my regular subscribers that don't understand when I have to be uh, really harsh and obnoxious towards somebody for a little while there's always a reason and look look how well it worked i played ryan upchurch like a fiddle all week long and anybody that doesn't believe it can go look at my community page and see that i predicted everything he was going to do days before he did it how did i do that i'm not a magic man i just know narcissistic personality disorder and i recognize behavior patterns and this is why i'm good at this stuff Ask yourself this question. Would you want somebody that could get beat by somebody like Upchurch and, and Harsh Reality? Would you want 
somebody that can not even handle those pathetic fools trying to get you facts and information from law enforcement and get you the real truth on this case? Do you trust them or do you trust me? That's the real question. So go ahead, please watch those videos, then decide if you want to subscribe to my channel and watch what I'm doing, because this is my quest for truth and you all get to follow along. But at this point, I have to ask you all if you want truth to please unsubscribe from Ryan Upchurch's channel and Harsh Reality and never, ever, ever watch even one of their videos because every one of your clicks is a view that puts money in their pocket. Shut them down. It's time to shut them down and get to the real truth. But if you don't help me do that, they are going to block all of you from getting the truth forever. So there you go, folks. Another harsh reality from you, Backtube Jeff. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and I really appreciate my subscribers that stick it out with me when I have to get into these crazy obnoxious fights and I have to win this intelligence war, I have to win this psychology war and I have to show people that I'm better than them at all of it and I'm trying my best on my tiny little budget with my tiny little channel and if you subscribe right now Maybe we can grow Kylie's army because when we get to the people that are above Jared, we're gonna have to play hardball. And I'm gonna need your help with that, guys. Every single one of you. You know, you might think you're weak and you have no voice and you have no power, but you're wrong. Look at what you're doing by working with me. You guys left all those comments on Facebook for Lieutenant Richard Gray. Look where that got us. It got me a thumbs up on the Freedom of Information Act request and it also got me a bunch of answers on things like body cam footage with facts and evidence to back it up straight from the police. More of that's coming. You guys know that I said already that I'm going to tackle the seatbelt issue, right? And I'm going to do it in a way where law enforcement has to tell me the truth. So I'm gonna keep working on my quest, and the more you guys help me get rid of these idiots on YouTube, the quicker we'll get there. Some of you went to Ryan Upchurch's channel and stuff and said, hey, you should go check out Jeff's channel and get the truth. He's working hard over here. And I appreciate every one of you, and it did make a difference. You started the spark that started the fire, and now Ryan Upchurch is burning to the ground. So when I do that stuff, when I say I need you all to go to this link and do this with me and make the comments, it's working. Some of you feel like it's not gonna work so you don't bother doing it. But it was only 50 or 100 comments we got on that Facebook thing and it helped. Maybe 10 or 20 of my subscribers had the guts to go to Ryan Upchurch's channel and steer some people to the truth. And I appreciate it, no matter how small we are in Ryan Upchurch's pile of ridiculous, dumb people and piles of money. There's some smart people in his pile and we need to give them the opportunity to join forces with us and become part of Kylie's army because only Kylie's army is gonna get to the truth. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next video.
you'll consider now that justice will be found in time. Rest knowing that we'll figure out the puzzle that you left me.